Welcome back to the channel guys, it would be much appreciated if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Celtic content. Chris Sutton has stated that Celtic playmaker Matt O'Reilly is now the best player in Scotland. On Saturday, Brennan Rodgers' Celtic saw off 10 men Ross County, with a number of key players benched and rested for the trip to Madrid to take on Diego Simeone's Atletico in the Champions League. Matt O'Reilly was one of the players who wasn't even used, with Chris Sutton adding after the match that he got himself a good break, as he told Sky Sports Football. But he was also keen to mention how no one touches him in Scottish football today, because he has been a level above. In 15 games in all competitions, Matt O'Reilly has scored 6 and assisted 5, whilst he has only failed to score or assist in 3 premiership matches this term. The rise in Danish star has been at the heart of the action for a Celtic side who is still unbeaten, and as Chris Sutton put it, 8 points clear of 2nd place Rangers. Matt O'Reilly has probably been the best player in Scotland this season, getting a good break, said Sutton. And it's about coming to get the 3 points. I think that was always going to be the case, in terms of when Ross County went down to 10 men. It was a good afternoon, 8 points clear now. On one hand, the better Matt O'Reilly performs, the more valuable it will be for the team, and the aim to rack up the trophies again this season and these coming years. It's not just on the domestic scene where he's starting to talk, because he's now proven himself on the European stage also. The only issue with this is when it starts to attract those with big money across Europe, especially in the Premier League. You would hope that doesn't happen anytime soon, because someone like O'Reilly is key to Celtic making those progressive steps in Europe during these coming years. Chris Boyd was in the Sky Sports studio with Chris Sutton on Saturday afternoon to watch Celtic go 8 points clear at the top of the table with a comprehensive 3-0 victory over Ross County. It was a day VAR and the officials took centre stage. When that happens, it's rarely a good thing. Celtic had a goal chopped off for the softest foul you'll likely see. However, not even that was the biggest controversy of the day. Celtic had another goal chopped off in the first half of the most marginal of offside decisions. Celtic fans bemoaned the angle of the camera for the decision. However, it came to light at half-time that the VAR official, Andrew Dallas, had used the wrong frame to call the goal offside. He had used a frame from after the ball had been hit, instead of the exact moment the ball was hit, as per the rules of the game. When this was initially brought to the attention of both Chris Sutton and Chris Boyd in the studio, instead of concern that VAR made a slip-up, Chris Boyd started rambling about the polls and X being made up tonight and conspiracy theories. It was a rather bizarre bit of TV and shows how net the guy is and how bitter he can be. Instead of just saying the referees need the right tools and the right information to make the calls correctly, he starts trying to negate a potential backlash to the error by attempting to ridicule anyone who wants a decision an error looked at. The decision may well have been offside, but why is a pundit actually trying to shrug off a potential huge error? Celtic fans, what do you make of the standard of refereeing in Scotland at the moment? Let me know down in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video guys. Make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Celtic content. Thank you, take care, bye bye.